Hey everyone, and welcome back to another GT Online video. Today I want to talk about the B11 Strike Force plane that at the time I'm making this video is locked away behind drip feed. I'm going to go over some things about it and give my opinions on the aircraft as a whole. Now, unfortunately, I can't actually fly it because I'm a console player and it requires PC mods to spawn in, but Sonny Evans was nice enough to post some gameplay for me to use, so huge thanks to him for that. There will be a link to his channel in the description if you want to check him out. So I'm sure most of you already know this, but the B-11 Strike Force is based off of the A-10 Warthog. You know, B-11, A-10, very creative name indeed. But this plane comes loaded with weapons. It has your usual lock-on missiles that can be spammed, barrage missiles like you see on the Hunter. This is the first plane that we have seen come into the game with barrage missiles, which is awesome. I've been waiting so long for a plane to have barrage missiles on it, and we're finally going to get one. It also has an explosive MG on the front, which we will talk more about later into the video. And to top it all off, it can be equipped with bombs. So this plane pretty much has every type of weapon you could ask for. In terms of agility and defense, I've seen videos of it being able to dogfight a laser and beat it with only stock handling, so that's good to know. It does look like this plane is extremely slow though, so that is one drawback to it. In terms of defenses, the B-11 is the closest thing we're going to get to a flying tank. The videos I've seen, it took 6 or 7 homing rockets to completely destroy it. And it comes with countermeasures. I really cannot wait to fly this thing, it looks so much fun to use, and Rockstar's attention to detail on it is amazing as well. Now let's go into more detail about the explosive gun that it has. It is not the same gun that the Hydra and Laser have, it's more comparable to the Rogue. However, it's actually way better than the Rogue because the shots aren't spread apart so much. They all come from the same cannon. The rate of fire is not as fast as the Hydra and Laser are either, and apparently the blast radius is non-existent, meaning you have to really hit your target to do damage to them. This has caused a lot of outrage in the community that I just don't understand. In my opinion, this plane is very balanced, and I think Rockstar did a very good job with it. I mean, they gave it a good amount of armor that no other plane has, aside from the Avenger, if you count that as a plane. The barrage missiles are going to be extremely fun and useful on this plane, and it will bring out some new strategies with the B-11 being the first plane to have them. And even though in real life it's not meant to dogfight, it can outmaneuver a laser in one. I don't understand how the community is mad over the explosive gun not being a meme cannon. Let me just put things into perspective for you guys. Would anyone want a plane that is armored, weaponized to the max, and more maneuverable than the laser to have the explosive cannon of the Hydra laser? I know I wouldn't. That would completely break the game and it would make the B-11 become the griefer's new toy. So I'm so glad that isn't the case. So many people think that the Oppressor Mark II is going to ruin free mode, but man, if the Strike Force release with the Hydra Cannon, I can only imagine the griefing complaints. If I was to make only one change to it, I'd only increase the rate of fire of the cannon a little bit. Everything else is fine. I've seen some people say that they should give it the Hydra Cannon but nerf its agility. I don't think that's a good idea at all. A plane that is that armored does not need a meme cannon. Absolutely not. That would essentially turn the B-11 Strike Force into a glorified Hydra, and we do not need that. In the end, the good players will adapt and find a way to use the B-11 effectively, and the ones who need the meme cannons to get kills will still use the Hydra and the laser. Tryhards will most likely use the latter, given the fact that I don't see any of them using the Starling despite all its advantages. The ones that know how to use the bombs effectively will have a huge advantage flying the B-11 too. As far as when this plane is supposed to come out, I have a theory that is way too much to explain right now, but if that theory does happen to be the case, we could be waiting over a month until this aircraft is officially released. But anyways guys, that is going to be all for this video. If you enjoyed, feel free to leave a like, as well as subscribe to my channel for more guide and PvP related content. And as always, thanks for watching and have a great day.